Here's my dating advice commandments. Yeah. If your boyfriend flies halfway across the United States of America <laughs> or Texas, I was there when you to surprise you just for you. When he gets there, don't cry and slam the door in his face. Oh. That would be a rude thing to do. Wouldn't it? (laughs) 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 However, if the circumstances were that you had a suspicion he was coming because at 10 o'clock in the morning, he turned his location off at the L.A. airport. (gasps) And then the flight is supposed to be three hours because a flight from Los Angeles to Dallas, Texas is only three hours and it's 10 in the morning. So he should be at your house no later than about two o'clock in the afternoon. But it is now 10 o'clock at night, and he still has not shown up, and his location is still off, and you have not heard from him all day. You assume he flew somewhere else, and he's doing something you should not be doing, because he never texted you, and he never told you, oh, my flight got delayed, oh, I missed my flight. He never told you anything. Mm -hmm. So then you decide, I can't So text his brother and ask. No. No, you didn't do that, did you? (laughs) No, This is hypothetical. No, she didn't do a reasonable thing. This is not, this is a very hypothetical thing. If it happened. If it happened. That person. (laughs) If it happened. If it happened, and you had been sitting at home all day waiting for him to come and surprise you, and he never showed up, and you just assumed that something bad was happening. (laughs) She's finishing her poem. All right, yeah, finish your poem. Then you decided, well, I've been sitting here for 12 hours. I'm just going to go for a little drive. Um, and you get on the road and you start driving and you start crying because you're upset because you haven't heard from him all day and he's not he's not at your house and he's not at his house. So where is he? Somewhere in America, you assume, but probably not. Then you get a call from your younger sister who says, hey, Kate, where are you? And you're you're really upset. Oh, she says, hey, girl, not my, my name because this is not very specific at all. Hey, where are you? You say, oh, I'm just on a drive. Well, come back. Why? Come back. Why? Come back right now. I need you at home. Why? Come back right now. I'm really upset. Come back. Okay, fine. I'll be there in five minutes. And you get home, and you're very upset, and your boyfriend, who has ghosted you all day, is standing there. But 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 not not cash. Not cash. cash. He's standing there. there. You know, maybe he has wholesome heart, and he's like, surprise! And then his loving girlfriend slams the door in his face. Because it was was a hard thing. And you know what? Maybe all that hypothetical situation could have been avoided if if commandment number two, um, have trust and loyalty. I read all I do have trust. 